Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should the need arise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. <laughs> Oh, dear. You never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right, then. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think.
I would ask you in for tea, because I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we mess? You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? You? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Staric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn pear-shaped. What's you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know, I feel rough. What's it in here, ain't ya? You? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn pear shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh. I don't know, feel rough! Delights me, and to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped another one, Bill. You little sod. Well, oh, I ain't me, Bez. Where you keep that telly, what's it? I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. 
Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operation. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that soothing self? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbor... It's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected mind. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Slowly. I've got a job for you. over here. to say the least. Ah! Oh. 
Faster if you can. My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs>
Salix Alba, there it is. Iris versicolor, commonly known as Harlequin blue flag. Lithocarpus, Fagus silvatica, Ulmus minor, Taxus baccata, um, ah. Iris versicolor, commonly known as Harlequin blue flag. Lithocarpus. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with steric syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to him? I'll ensure Dr. Schwartz's safety and make sure you get that fossil. Splendid! But please do be careful. Please hurry. I fear Dr. Schwartz might be in danger. Like 
finding a needle in a haystack, this What is. is the meaning of this? Mr. Darwin has sent me to ensure you reach him safely, with your cargo intact. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is your father? So commotion. By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. Oh, is really kidding. Oh, oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. What's going on? What's a German doctor supposed to look? Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. I hope it's safe over here. There's a dead body here. What are all the old charges about? How am I going to find him among all these people? Stand that doctor! Fucking hell! 